it means so much when you see this. Just it's, it's just not the medal, but. It's inside the meaning of, of it of course it is it's what it means and this isn't your first european medal either we know that you're being <laughs> european champion silver medalist you've got the whole package uh, as well as your, you know your work with the teams and and the uh, athlete athletes commission which continues with the wkf it just gets True. better and better for you <laughs> yes the older i get the better it gets i don't know how it works <laughs> it's like a fine wine it matures yes. with age <laughs> True. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're going to have a team, Kumite, uh, now, and this is the third of the three Ks of karate, the key on the basics, the blocks, the kicks, the strikes, the kata, as we saw with team kata in the female competition just now. And this is the Kumite, this is the, the free expression, the free style that uh, athletes can perform their kicks and punches and, and strikes. And this is where, of course, Vicky has particular wow. expertise. And, there we go straight away with a, a high score, a three-point score opening. And I was going to say that uh, the Belgium guy likes to kick, <laughs> but the other one kicked the, here. Um, They're both very strong fighters and it's impressive once again to say that uh, the Ukrainian team made it to the bronze finals after all the, the situation they have, they had. They have. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, of course, uh, and obviously that is uh, what's going on in Ukraine, which is so, so sad. And uh, it's fabulous to see that the athletes from Ukraine are able to uh, compete and to fly the flag for their nation. And they are doing so well indeed. Angelika Teliuga taking a, another European title. Yes. Wonderful performance. As and an she individual. fought very, very good yesterday. She did, indeed. So, three-minute bouts. There are five matches in the male team, Kumite. And it is the first team that gets three wins. And then the match will finish at that point. If, at the end, it's a draw on wins and a draw on points, then it would go to a single match playoff but we haven't got to that stage yet there's plenty of karate competition before we get there it's important to say uh, that the, the team kumite is different than the individual kumite because uh, it's a lot of tactic there are five players who are uh, competing and uh, the coach has to set the number to each one of them and um, same for the other team and um, the number is really important because it can uh, set the winner so it's all about the tactic of the coach who's gonna fight first who's gonna fight second and the rest so it's very interesting to see how uh, it's gonna be And points are so important as we go through each of the rounds. There's another roundhouse kick wow. to the body. That was very, very strong, wasn't very it, Vicky? Good. From the cleans, yes. That's a further two-point score. And the video review. 14 Belgium. And the two referees in the bottom left of the screen, they'll be making a decision and they'll relay that so information back. That, that looked pretty good there, didn't it? There's the kick going up. It looks... Will it score? What do you think, Vicky? I think... Uh, I don't know. It, it's, not, it's not easy. <laughs> Referee's work is really hard. <laughs> I was going to say that it's and blocked, it but has then... Been rejected. Yes. So no score. But it was very close. Maybe it was at the yes. end of the range. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. No question about that one. That's very important for the team. What I was saying uh, earlier is that uh, the more points, the better for the team. And they come in to play right at the end. 
the flexibility and speed of these kicks is incredible, isn't it? Yes, both of them. In case of a, a draw at the end of the fights, then the points are counted. So that's why the more the better for the team. Into the last te 10 seconds, it's going to be a first win for Team Belgium. So the first so win goes to Ukraine. Ukraine, it does indeed. And that was a, a solid performance from Andriy Toroshenko. Our second fighter out for Ukraine is Khaled, Younes Khaled Hajarama. And the second man out, nobody needs to introduce this fantastic fighter from Ukraine, Stanislav Haruna. didn't go up but the coach has stood up and put his card in the air he expects to have a I think it's blocked but I'm not sure let's have a look at the video yes, and you blocked. can see the arm up of Stanislav Haruna and the arm is between the leg and the head so it cannot score in that situation and it's a no from Mr. Gamble being hunted down by Stanislav Haruna. So no score, three points for a head kick, two points for a kick to the body and one point for a punch. Just remember that Ukraine have one win so far. With a lot of points. And Very absolutely, important. eight points to one they lead in that first match. that Huru is keen on is the Chudan Mawashi Geri, that roundhouse kick. And Ushiro the Mawashi. And, Ushiro. <laughs> <laughs> and the punches and the sweeps. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the above. <laughs> uh, he's an amazing fighter. He's tapped that front foot. Oh, oh, wow. There it is, Beautiful. the double Mawashi. That was brilliant, wasn't it? He tapped brilliant. the front leg, then he went in for a Mawashi Chudan midsection, yes. and then up to the head. The timing was brilliant. Perfect. Oh. 
Kwale just come, tries to come back. Nice. Again, showing that range of ability from kicks to punches. That's another point for Ukraine. Ajamar. Nice coming up. Thinking that was a, a a solid return. Two point score for that kick to the body. Four points to two. Aruna still leads with that central advantage as well. Oh. Fantastic. That was a fantastic Ashley Barai and the punch. Now. Uh, it's going to be a one-point score for Haruna. The, the sweep was brilliant. The, the, the follow-up was a punch to the body, but because it wasn't on the tatami, it wasn't flat, it wasn't a three-point score, it was a one-point score. Yes, the athlete should lay all the way on the floor. Correct. To be three points, right? That's, uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right. I see Ulad Hajimar trying to get back into contention. He certainly not phased by the fact that he's trailing by three points oh. and there's a little bit of desperation in those wheeling kicks from Ulad Hajamar we're in the last 10 seconds now as a Hansa Kachui against him Aruna does not have to do too much just to wait for an attack to come in. Oh, that spinning heel kick. That was, that was close. was, wasn't it? Yes. That's the second win for Team Ukraine. Now, if they can get a win from their third match, that will seal the deal and they will become European bronze medalists in the male Team Kubate. And number three out for Team Ukraine is Rizvan Talibov. Number three out for Belgium is Luka Costa. Both performed in the individuals. Both extremely good fighters. Ex but this is a must exactly. win. A must win or at least draw for Team Belgium in this match. If they want to have any opportunity to take a bronze medal and the, and the team lineup and the, the choice of who goes where in the team is really, really important isn't it Vicky yes exactly that's uh, the most important actually for the for the team Kunte that's why the coach is is um, has to has has to have uh, a lot of knowledge in this you know because uh, one mistake can uh, change the whole uh, outcome. Exactly. Exactly right. You see uh, Haruna just uh, with his arms around his teammates. His and, job's done. And you know, it's hard when you fight in team. You need to think about the team, not about you. You don't. You, you cannot think, no, I can do it. And sometimes you, you see you cannot win and you have to let it go. And it's yeah. so super, super hard to do this, you know, because exactly. you have to let your ego out and think only about the team. That's what is beautiful about the team. It Kunte. is. And it is always so exciting because it can have a range of weight categories as well, can't it, in team? Yes. You can see someone... Oh, wow. First score for Ukraine. You can see someone from PLUS. 84 fighting against someone from minus 60 and it's very interesting to watch exactly and later we'll, we'll see exactly that kind of scenario because we have uh, go go for for gold we'll have team france and uh and of course we have in team france uh two of the da costa brothers yes and an olympic champion that will be a chance and steven da costa to have a look how he fares up here but in the meantime we still have Ukraine leading in the third bout by one point 
if it remains this way in the next two minutes and 12 seconds, then Ukraine will become European bronze medalists. I think the Arsu eyes were a little bit more yeah, and hard. That, uh, because it became more a kick than a, than a sweep. And it, in that case, it's a, a warning for Con. And that was close on really now. Oh, Good side kick. What, how oh. smart. Well, indeed. And look. Really smart. I didn't expect it. No, no, no. And he stopped Costa in his tracks. And Costa had really been hit hard by that kick. It just very smart because he yeah. got swept um, Arshibarai three times. He got the Arshibarai three times, and you didn't expect that he will. And he and and and, and uh, Costa also didn't expect. That's why I think it was a little bit harder. No? He didn't. Yeah, exactly. He, he didn't. He didn't. It came out as a surprise. Took the wind out of his sails. That's for sure. But he's now back in contention here. He's got a three-point deficit to overcome, and the Sentiu. Costa can kick really good, so maybe... Still one minute, 44 seconds, so plenty of time, Vicky, isn't there? Oh, yes. More than plenty. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Oh, he just got his arm in the way there, didn't he? Sorry if I get sometimes too excited. No, that's, <laughs> I love kicks. <laughs> no, that's 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 your, that's part of the job, and that's why you're sitting here <laughs> with your bronze medal on yes. our, on the table here. I, I slept with it, you know. Did you? Always, yes. When I win the medal, I it, I put it next to my pillow and I sleep with it. Brilliant. And before I come here, I put my last year uh, last year's medal below my pillow for good luck. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> it certainly paid off, didn't it? <laughs> yes. No, it's, it's very important. And, you know, uh, athletes do have pe pe peculiar rituals sometimes, don't they? And they're, in sure. their preparation to get onto the tatami. The video review here, is it going to reveal a positive score? Uh, because Luca Costa desperately needs one, doesn't he? Is it a red or it is a... Mm, it's no. a red and it's a big no. So, unfortunately, Luca Costa... No card. The referee just going across uh, because we're looking at a video review request for Aka. And the, the, the uh, request for a video review me needs to be straight away, doesn't it? And I think yes. it took too long for the, for the coach to uh, decide that he wanted the video review. That's why it's been rejected. He didn't lose the card. Luca Costa for Belgium desperately needs a win here because if he does not get a win, his team is going to lose the bronze medal. One minute to go. So you see quite often now that the athletes are Happy to have their hands really low. Yes. Because uh, I, I guess it's a, there's a there's a level of confidence in their ability to read the match and and, and put the hand in position to block if needs be. Well, um, I personally don't do it, but uh, there are some uh, athletes and good athletes that uh, do have the hands really low. And mostly they like to attack with Kizami, these athletes. <laughs> that front hand, and it, yes. and it slips up yes. really quickly, doesn't it? And Rizvan Talibov. Well, I have to say also one thing more that um, I want to congratulate all the athletes for all these days because especially the ones who fight today, they've been fighting uh, since Wednesday and uh, it's really, really, really tough to long, fight long every day. Yes. I mean, these guys must be ex exhausted, you know, the ones that fight also for individual uh, in, the, in the categories that are like plus, because we started on Wednesday mm -hmm. and today is Sunday, so it's pretty, pretty hard. Uh, and, and it's not just one match per day, is it? It can be several matches going, exactly. through, the, going through the rounds. 
and uh, having to recover also. You see the referee just signaling to say that there was a, a violation against Luca Costa. So we have two category two warnings against Talibov in red for Ukraine and one against Costa into the last 14 seconds. Talibov still leading, three points to zero. Luka Costa for Belgium, desperately needs a win here. He's only three seconds. He needs, he's gonna get a warning instead of a, a, a point. So he needs to get four points in three seconds. Oh, that's almost impossible. Almost impossible. And it is going to be impossible because the time up has occurred and it is a win and a bronze medal through Razvan Talibov and Team Ukraine. Congratulations for both of the teams. Solid performance from Team Ukraine, yes. really, wasn't it, Vicky? Nice kicks. They seem to be pretty much in control all of the time. Oof, so now I'm going to be maybe a little bit more excited because Team Greece is coming up. <laughs> yes, oh, and, you, and you have every right to be. Let's just have a look at some of these kicks. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Full of confidence, isn't he? Costa really felt that one, didn't he? Well, we will wonderfully never see Ukraine stop singing. That's yes. brilliant. After all they've been through to come here and win all these medals is 